Welcome back YouTube, DB Squonks here. Today we're going to be doing a, a review on a device that I won in a giveaway again. Uh, it was the same giveaway that I won the Rebirth RDA that I just posted from the vape team back in November. But today we're going to be doing a review on the Hellbeast uh, sub ohm slash mouth lung hybrid tank from Hellvape and Beyond Vape. So we're going to jump down to the table, take a look at what comes inside the box. Um, it's a sewing tank, so you know there's not a whole lot to go over, but show you everything that comes in the box. Put some juice in it, vape on it, and give you my pros and cons. So here's the packaging that your Hellbeast hybrid tank will come in. Uh, this is a collaboration between Beyond Vape and Hellvape. Of course, you have your logo on the front. It says Beyond Vape, Hellvape, Hellbeast Hybrid Sub Ohm MTL. Hybrid does not mean what it usually means when it comes to vape devices. Hybrid, when it comes to uh, vape devices, most people automatically think of it being, you know, like a hybrid connection for a mech mod. That is not what this means. Hybrid tank means that it's a dual use. You can use it as a sub ohm tank or an MTL tank. Do not, I repeat, do not try to use this on a mechanical device such as a, a tube mod or something of that nature. That is not what this is made for. So anyhow, outside the box, of course, uh, there's the front of the box. Top of the box is going to say Hellbeast. Side of the box, Hellvape. This side is going to give you your color configuration, which mine is in gunmetal, uh, UPC code or whatever, social media over here, Beyond Vape on that side, and then on the back of the box, Zoom this in a little bit. Just give you guys a freeze frame for a second. Just gives you the features and the contents, and of course, your scratch and check. So, the features of this device are it's a 24 millimeter hybrid tank, 810 drip tip, 4 milliliter capacity with sub ohm coil that's already installed, a 4.3 milliliter capacity with smoke baby beast coils, a 3.5 milliliter capacity with Nautilus adapter and the Nautilus coils. Um, you do have to purchase the Nautilus coil separate. This does not come with any. It says it's also a true all-purpose style airflow with two adjustable options. Dual Cyclops airflow with an additional adjustable MTL option. Push style top cap for an easy fill compatible with smoke baby beast coils, Vaporesso GT coils, and Nautilus V2 coils. Those coils are not included in this package. The contents are going to be one Hellbeast hybrid tank, one 510 Delrin MTL drip tip, two coils at a 0.2 ohm. These are the mesh coils. Uh, one Nautilus coil adapter. Nautilus coils are not included again. A 510 adapter, one spare parts kit, and an instruction manual. So let's open this up. I wish all companies would put those like little notches on the side of the box, you know, like a notch here or a notch here or, you know, on this side or that side. It makes it easier to take apart or open up rather. It can be a kind of a pain opening these boxes sometimes. So, of course, you're going to have your Helby sub ohm tank, and then this is going to be your extra parts bag or whatever you want to call it here. Parts box. That's tight fit. And of course, your sub ohm tank. Go to that here in a second. And of course, a user manual. It's going to be in multiple different languages. Don't need that because I'm pretty much going to go over everything with you. Alright, and here is what we are here to see. This is the Helby sub ohm tank or hybrid tank is what they're calling it, I guess. And then inside your parts, of course, I just read them all off to you. Um, of course, here's your extra spare coil. Again, that's 0.2 mesh. I'm not sure exactly what all coils they have for them. Um, I will post that in the description, what coils are available. I have to look that up. Inside this other bag here, if I can get the damn thing open. I hate when I do bags like this. I 
I mean, I understand that it's pretty much the safest way to package stuff, but, you know, hey, whatever. Try to get this out so I can show you guys what it'll look like with the configuration of the uh, Nautilus adapter here. And they give you a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of extra o rings. Let's stick these all back in here. And also, they include an extra spare glass section, if I can ever get it out of this box. Extra spare straight glass. Um, I did see online that they are now making a bubble glass option for this, and I believe it holds 5 mils. Um, I may be wrong on the capacity, but they are making a bubble glass option for it now. I don't know if the second batch will include the bubble glass or if that's just something that you have to buy separate. But anyhow, this is what the Nautilus adapter looks like. You'll basically screw that in place of where your actual coil goes. And then, of course, they do give you the 510 focus here, 510 drip tip. Uh, for mouth to lung use. So the tank, again, it's pretty much just like any other sub ohm tank. You have your 810 drip tip, which it does have the uh, O-ring on the inside, so you can use any of your regular 810 drip tips with it, or you can put on this included 510 drip tip if you want to use the mouth to lung, or, you know, it's also got that I don't know if I can get this out now. It's got the uh, 510 drip tip adapter. I'll screw with that here in a second. But, works just like any other sub ohm tank. Unscrew it from the bottom. Again, this is the mesh coil. It's just a single piece of mesh. It's supposed to only out to point 0.2. It says... Uh, let's see what the recommended wattage is. It says recommended wattage 30 to 90 watts, best at 60 to 80 watts. And then, of course, here's your base of the tank. And if you want to use your Nautilus coils, just screw in this little adapter here. And then you can just put your Nautilus coils in there. I don't have any Nautilus coils to show you guys. Again, it didn't come with any. So, we will not be using it in MTL mode. We will be testing it out in just regular sub ohm tank. On the bottom, it's going to say uh, Hellbeast. And it has the Hellvape logo and Beyond Vape logo. And then it says a collaboration a collaborative creation by Hellvape and Beyond Vape. And I'm assuming that's a serial number over here and of course some Chinese warnings. And then of course your your glass, be careful when taking this off, but the glass does, does just does come off. And then of course you got your top piece. Put this back together here and let me see if I can get this uh, 510 drip tip adapter out. Okay, so after messing around with this thing for a while, I finally got that 510 drip tip adapter out. So just as a reminder, um, if you're going to use the, or change the drip tips, or use the 510 drip tip adapter, make sure you uh, put some juice on that o-ring inside there so it'll come in and out easier. I'm going to go ahead and prime this coil. Again, juice I'm going to be using is the standard vape white gummy. Um, it's kind of like my all day vape right now, but I'm going to go ahead and saturate this coil a little bit. Just a couple drops, just to get it started.
put this back together, put on a device, fill it up with some juice, and uh, bring it back up on top and give you guys my pros and cons. Now we're back up top with the Hell Beast by Beyond Vape and Hell Vape. Give you guys my pros and cons. Um, the pros, again, uh, I've noticed this with all, well, with all the Hell Vape RDAs or tanks or anything from Hell Vape that I own, the machining is very well done. It was clean when I got it. There wasn't any, you know, gunk on the inside or glue or any of that stuff that or uh, VG like you might see from some companies lately um, a lot of companies have been sending their products out kind of filthy you know VG all over them so forth so on there wasn't anything in this um, so yeah the the build quality is excellent machining was excellent there wasn't any dents or dings or scratches or any of that on it um, the top fill I love the top fill the top fill is definitely a pro you just slide it over to fill it you don't have to unscrew it or anything like that. Um, it's very snug, so you know the top fill is not going to slide loose in your pocket or anything like that. Uh, it's a pro that it does come with two coils, so they do give you two coils, sub own coils. Um, the, the other pro is that you can make this an MCL tank. You can use the provided Nautilus coil adapter and change it into an MCL tank. Um, the airflow, it does have adjustable airflow. Um, it's a darker device, so you guys probably can't see it. But if you turn the airflow, uh, let's see here. If you turn the airflow all the way to the right, it will open up the, let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, let's see. Uh, you kind of see it. Anyhow, it's got, um, if you turn it all the way to the right, it's got a bunch of holes that start off large and then go down to small for the MCL. So you can close them off one by one and make it as restrictive as you want. Or if you go back to the, the left, it uh, opens up your dual Cyclops airflow, which it's kind of tricky because every time I turn the airflow to the left it wants to unscrew the whole tank from the mod but anyhow so you know uh, the MCL option that's definitely a pro um, they do include the 510 drip tip and the 510 drip tip adapter both pros they do include all the extras you know like every other sub on the tank does they give you the glass and the o-rings all that stuff so the pro um, now we'll go move on to my cons. Um, my cons on this device um, are definitely going to be, you know, that 510 drip tip and 510 drip tip adapter. Once you put it in there, it's a pain in the ass to get it out. So make sure that you uh, lube up those O-rings on the inside where the drip tip goes. That way, you know, it'll come in and out fairly easy. But as it sits, if you go take out the A10 and put it in the 510 drip tip adapter, it is a pain in the ass to get it out. So it's definitely a con. Um, the drip tip, the A10 drip tip that comes on this, it doesn't match anything. So, you know, I mean, the, the drip tip's cool, don't get me wrong. You know, the two-tone look, gold on top, uh, gold flake or whatever you want to call it on top. Um, all their colors are like that. They come with, you know, a uh, two-tone drip tip, but the drip tip don't match shit. So... You know, I mean, it's a gunmetal solo tank with a red and gold drip tip. So that's a con in my book. Um, the other con, you know, if you're going to promote this as a as a um, hybrid tank, rather, uh, as, you know, the, the one of the key features, so to say, is supposed to be that it can accept Nautilus coils and you can do mouth to lung on it. Well, you know, if that's going to be one of your key features, shouldn't you include at least one Nautilus coil so, you know, people can try that out, try that feature out? Um, so that's definitely another con. Uh, now they are selling a bubble tank for it um, as a separate add-on. Most of them tanks come with a bubble glass and a straight glass. So, you know, the fact that it didn't come with the bubble glass, I'm going to count that as a con as well. Um... 
the airflow on this thing wide open. It's kind of loud. And then if you turn it down, see, we'll close it off about halfway. It wants to start to whistle on you. So, you know, um, I think the airflow could have been done a little bit better. I mean, I guess I can, let's try closing it off and try the, uh, we're going to try all the mouth lung holes open. That's a very restrictive vape. Very, very restrictive vape. It's a direct lung. You can do the direct lung, but it's very restrictive. Um, the flavor I'm getting off of just a single mesh coil. Um, the flavor is not the greatest. To be honest. Um, the, of course, you know, these are just my opinions. So the flavor is definitely going to be a con. Uh, again, I'll have to look up and see what other coils they offer. Maybe they offer some multiple mesh coils, so forth, so on. Or, you know, you can use the Baby Beast coils. Maybe those will give it a little bit better flavor. But as it sits right now, the flavor is very muted. I'm not getting a whole lot of flavor off of it at all. Also, the coil that comes with it is rated a 0.2 ohm coil. And um, for some reason, it, it was uh, rated a 0.15. So... I don't know what's up with that, but um, so yeah, I did, I did let the coils sit and saturate. So again, the flavor is definitely a con in my book. Um, other than that, it's a good device. It's just another sub ohm tank in my book. I don't really vape on a whole lot of sub ohm tanks. Um, uh, it's kind of cool that you can do the mouth to lung option with it with the Nautilus coil. But, again, if they're going to promote that, they should have included at least one Nautilus coil. So, with that all said, guys, um, follow the advocacy links or click on the advocacy links in the description, please. There is a lot of stuff going on right now as far as the FDA goes, trying to ban flavors. Uh, flavor bans have happened in a couple major U.S. cities. They're trying to make it a federal ban. Um, you know, make sure you guys stand up for your rights to vape. I know I didn't quit smoking, vaping tobacco or menthol flavored juices. I quit uh, vaping fruits and candies, mainly blue raspberry flavors. So I want to be able to continue to vape those flavors. So if you want to be able to continue to vape those flavors, please click on the advocacy links. It doesn't take very long, a couple minutes. You know, um, provide the information they ask you for, name, it, name, email address, so forth, so on. But make sure you guys stand up for your rights to vape. Uh, with that being said, I don't care if you guys are vaping on a hand-me-down device or something that you guys spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on, whatever. I don't care as long as you guys aren't smoking. So until next time, stay out the cigarettes, pick up a vape, and keep it cloudy.